Hi, welcome to our Telehealth video information service. I'm Garvin and this video is on Styproc shampoo. So Styproc shampoo contains a topical antifungal drug. Typically it is used for dandruff. It requires several days to take effect. So how does this medication work? Styprox or the active ingredient Cyclopyrox belongs to the group of medicines known as antifungals. It works by preventing certain types of fungus from growing and reproducing. The cream and lotion form of this medication are used to treat certain types of fungal infections of the skin. <clears throat> so, and the lacquer form is used as part of a treatment plan for fungal infections of the nails. The shampoo form of this medicine is used to treat and prevent dandruff or to treat seborrheic dermatitis, which is a condition of the scalp that causes itchy, scaly, flaky and red skin and caused by specific fungus on the scalp. So do not give this medication to anyone else, even if they have the same symptoms as you do. It can be harmful for people to use this medication if their doctor has not prescribed it. So how do you use Styproc shampoo? Styproc shampoo is generally used two or three times a week or as often as recommended by your doctor. Wet your hair and apply enough shampoo to work up an abundant lather. Massage the scalp with your fingertips for two to three minutes. Then rinse the hair well. Repeat lathering and rinsing. Keep Styproc shampoo out of the eyes and away from the eyelids. If you get this medication in your eyes, Flush well with clean water. Styprox shampoo may cause discoloration of grey, white or chemically damaged hair. So store the shampoo at room temperature and keep it out of reach of children and out of direct sunlight. So many things can affect the dose of the medication that a person needs, such as body weight, other medical conditions and other medicines. If your doctor has recommended a dose different from the one listed, do not change the way that you are using the medication without consulting your doctor. It is important to use this medicine exactly as prescribed. If you miss a dose, use it as soon as possible and continue with your regular schedule. If it is also almost time for your next goal dose, then skip the missed dose and continue with your regular dosing schedule. Do not use double dose to make up for an area missed one. If you're not sure what to do after missing a dose, contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Do not dispose of this medicine in wastewater, such as down the sink or the toilet or in the household garbage. Ask your pharmacist how to dispose of medicines that are no longer needed or have expired. So what are the side effects or, um, of this medication? So many medications can cause side effects. A side effect is an unwanted response to a medicine when it is taken in normal doses. Side effects can be mild or severe, temporary or permanent. So the following side effects have been reported by at least 1% of people taking this medicine. Many of these side effects can be managed and some may go away on their own over time. So contact your doctor if you experience these side effects when they are severe or burdensome. Your pharmacist may be able to advise you on managing side effects. So the side effects would be a rash. And check with your doctor as soon as possible if any of the following side effects occur. So burning, itching, redness, swelling, or other signs of irritation not present before use of this medicine. So are there any other precautions or warnings for this medicine? So before you begin using a medication, be sure to inform your doctor of any medical conditions or allergies you may have. Any medications you are taking, whether you're pregnant or breastfeeding, and any other significant facts about your health. These factors may affect how you should use this medicine. And for pregnancy, this medicine should not be used during pregnancy unless the benefits outweigh the risks. If you become pregnant while taking this medicine, contact your doctor immediately. And for breastfeeding, it is not known if cyclopyrox passes into breast milk. If you are breastfeeding, and they're taking this medicine, it may affect the baby. So talk to your doctor about whether you should continue breastfeeding or not. And for children, the safety and effectiveness of this medicine have not been established for children. So it shouldn't be used for children under 18. 
So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or contact with us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork or ring us 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.